Hi guys, Ghost here, and today we're playing the new Pokemon game, Pokemon Legends Ar Arceus, that word. And I had to start on the home screen because as soon as you click on the game, it just starts you on the main, like, intro. So let's get into it. I'm excited. Oh, that's loud. Oh, like, man, is it going to load? Jesus. <laughs> English, because that's the only language I know. We know this. That looks like a butthole. <laughs> Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. What is well... It is well thou that thou art here. Blah, 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 blah. I am which humans call Arceus. You are a blinding ball of light. Now I wish to know thine appearance. Which one am I? What that what is thy name? Ghost. My name is Ghost. Me Gusto. If that me, that me, ghost. Soon thou shalt, not short, shalt find thine self in a world strange to thee. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Ghost. Yes. Seek out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Do I have to? Is that a requirement? <laughs> hey, my cell phone. <laughs> Not my iPhone! Uh, Arceus took my iPhone. What a bitch. <laughs> That's the title of this video. Arceus took my iPhone. <laughs> That's bright. Oh, Well, that was cool. Oh, the little loading symbol's cool. I don't know why I always call those out in games. <laughs> don't have to yell at me. Wake up! Oh, do wake up, won't you? Oh. Hi. Are you alive, my boy? No. He looks troubled. <laughs> Why did Oshwat look so upset? <laughs> you gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you seemed unharmed. Where am I? What? This is Prelude Beach, of course. Dear me, did you did the shock of your fall somehow aid your memory? What, is, what do you think? I have to sneeze. So whenever that happens, I'm so sorry. I must say, your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I don't know. I see, you seem to be a bit of a pickle. Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you can stay? No. So you don't know anyone here, and you don't know even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Somehow, I guess. I made it this far, you know? I want that Cyndaquil. Give me that goddamn Cyndaquil. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such needs. 
Boom. A plush plush. Oh my, I completely forgot. I had just caught up with two of these three runaway Pokemon when he tumbled out the sky. He real nonchalant about me just, you know, falling from heaven. It's obvious that they knew you'd appear here. Ah, oh, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of course they do. Hey, why my eyes jiggle like that? Did y'all see that? Weird. My, that's a relief, though. You fell from the sky. It seems you have some common ground, huh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures that they are. Oh, yes. And what might your name be? Oh, so you be called Ghost. The name has quite a ring to it, I imagine. It must have some lovely meaning. No. Not really. <laughs> Oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Lavington. I am something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Or oh, bye, I guess. Oh, blast and bother. My darling Pokemon, why must you run away from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you can help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three, wait! We're all getting that Cyndaquil, guys. Because it turns into a fire ghost. I'm just over here screaming. My RCS iPhone. <laughs> Why he been over and look at it like that? <laughs> you found something that resembles a phone. You probably your phone, but it changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. Message appears on the screen. I bestow upon thee this arc phone, and the missions seek out all Pokemon. So Arceus took my iPhone and upgraded it, and made it his own. That's copyright infringement. Okay. I hear a Pokemon bitching. Oh, oh, that's yet another miss. I'm glad you come to my rescue, my new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs in a way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. How are you a professor, then? I'd love to give you a go at it. I'll give you a go out of it, perhaps I should tell you more about these three first. Now that one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, apparently it battles using his sharp feathers. And it slays <laughs> bitches. Look at that. Slays bitches. That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it is surprised or irritated. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water and can battle using shell light objects on his belly. And it's a vampire. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing about how to go about catching Pokemon. Oh, uh, here you are, my boy. Pokeballs. Throw these at the Pokemon to catch them. 50 fucking Pokeballs, Jesus. Mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Ah, oh, but won't you, uh, that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where the Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one at the Pokemon, and why, the Pokemon shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. That, you've, you've got a Pokemon. No, you've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I'd be gr awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to aim at the Pokemon and then let the ball fly. It's quite simple, though far be it from me to say so. I suppose give it my own dire lack of skill in this area. Pokemon can count as I'm the ZR button to ready. Your button to throw. Which one is ZR? I'm gonna...
right in your big ass nose. <laughs> yeah, you come here, bitch. You caught a Pokemon. This is a great night for the Pokemon catching business, goats. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, uh, still this is most unusual. You don't seem fit for a Pokemon in the slightest. Why? Why? Why do we have to be scared? Let me get a little shit. I'm gonna catch you all the way from over here. Bitch. I, thought, I liked the little fireworks that shoot out. I hardly believe it ghost incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. There's one more to go. Let's wrap up to the sharpest, shall we? Hey, Arshawat. Bitch. <laughs> Time to go. Oh yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokemon are hardly 100% foolproof. You give it another go, old boy. I'm binging you right in your big ass head now. Hi. <laughs> now drown. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have the ball back. You see, three Pokemon you caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet yeah, listen to anyone. And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village almost as they knew you would come falling. I must say, Ghost, uh, taken aback by how you used your Pokeballs, how is that you can catch Pokemon so ably when you just arrived here? Uh oh, one can't help but to think there's a reason you appeared here now. Hey, phone. Steve, jo Steve Jobs sent me. Pick out all Pokemon. The object is an Arc phone, you say? Could it be guiding you somewhere? So, guiding you somehow? Somehow? If you indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of his Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog like a Pokedex. He has a proper Pokedex of his wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon he found in the region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And therefore lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs only have just been invented, and not many have mastered the skills of using them. Enter you, a person with clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all this Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Yes. Come on now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my boy? You have convinced me. Yeah. And whoever, and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Poke Pokedex to complete. First things first, let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and to be all and all that. Follow me then, onward to Jubilee, 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 Jubilee Village. What Pokemon is bitching? Oh, we have to climb that. We have to go talk to God again. <laughs> I'm sad I didn't pre-order this game like I wanted to. Because I want the cute little Growlite uh, outfit. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young man knows the great it does to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you forgive my bringing him to the village for a bit. I'm sorry, I have the hiccups. He just stabbed us, because <laughs> we're a foreigner. <laughs> this way, if you please. Okay. Is that mama? I came from your mom. I guess. Your bitch made it for me. 
I'm not even reading what Lamington is having to say to me. Who are you? <laughs> oh, brother, uh, botheration. I almost forgot. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escape Pokemon. I might ask you to wait for me at the canteen. Just past the bridge here, then to the left, the wall is it's called. What? That was weird. Kill him. Do it in the name of God. <laughs> Somebody seems to show where you need to go next. Use a bunch of moves. Blah, 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 blah. Use your guidance markers when you're exploring and running around. Blah, blah. Okay. Boring. I'm independent. I don't need God telling me where to go. Oh no, you're one fucking ugly kid, huh? <laughs> Coming from the man that has a green mustache and beard. Or line. What is that? The wallpaper for Galaxy Team Folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. So you're racist. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like you are. If you were attacked by a Pokemon. You'd be mincing me in those flimsy clothes. If the guard let you through, you must have fight with somebody in the village. Yes. Perhaps you met Professor Leventon? He's a scholar from a faraway place. This Pokemon do get away from him at times, so it makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I hardly want to talk, but I had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago and had to take to my bed. But the Professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. Unfortunately, it's just as Ak Akiria says, I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Professor. But everything would be quite all right now. Ghost here has agreed to help us with our Pokedex. Why? She looked pissed. Excuse me, you plan to appoint him to the Survey Corps? You can't just slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Celine's permission. I'll allow it. Fix it, bitch. She looks like a bitch. <laughs> Captain Celine. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I'm the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. They call me Selene. Kyleen. Professor Leviton has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems that he would like us to feed and house you in a sanctuary and ongoing labor. Um, you look to be 15 or so. Quite old enough to work for your keep, but we can't simply take on a stranger who wandered in among us without any idea of their skills or origin. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you would be plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite a lie. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Yep. Bitch. Bitch. Aloof, I always... As, aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us show share a meal with some pleasant conversations and eh. Many old chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, and make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Biddy. Must oblige. Your potato mochi never fails to please. I would love to know what a potato mochi tastes like. Professor Leviton, would where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Oh well, you know the great hole in the sky, the one people call space time rift. I knew fell friend fell right out of it. You can't be serious. Why is she so upset with me? Why? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Come now, I'm a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know the mini Pokemon here in the Hisui reason, region that they are in the grass, in the forest, by water, whatever they like. Our job in the survey corps is to research them and find out the creatures they are. Well, we know this much Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Not really. What well, Darkrai is. I know he in this game. It is all but impossible to know what kind of powers they might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. She looked like she got bread on her feet. 
But there's, th that's where ghosts will come in. It successfully caught three Pokemon, three of them in quick order, you understand? Nobody in the Galaxy, Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Maybe we have hard enough time catching even one even wild Pokemon come after us. Oh, well, it's perfectly fair to the Pokemon that fell into the beach we weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well, and it seems our new friend is fearless enough just to do that. Does the survey corps really have the leeway to enjoy a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered 10 whole portions of potato mochi note. The slow progress on that Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure it's start to rain in the good captain's dress eating soon enough. Now, have your fill, ghost, and think. We make it into the galaxy team, and you never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all of its members' needs, and if its members so fall out of the sky. We need to go catch Pokemon. They need to hurry this up. Now. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. All this talking is making me thirsty, so excuse me. Yes, the food was lovely, but more importantly, do you remember that Ghost has a trial to pass to join the Survey Corps, don't you? Not to worry, I have complete confidence in Ghost's skills. Let's hope it's not misplaced. Ghost, was it? For well, night. At least we will provide you with a place to sleep. You may use our quarters there. But if you fail to pass the trial, we will put you... We will put to you tomorrow. You must move on. We will be expelled from the village to meet your fate. And perhaps your deaths in the wild. Okay, okay. Ma'am, is that serious? <laughs> Gavisini and someone likes Hitsui in that they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she just simply puts on a stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night. And eh? it's a good thing we one can't fall out of the futons we sleep in here. Imagine our new friend has. Had enough falling for one day. With that, I bid you both a good night. Yes, good night. She really looked like she got bread on her feet. Earth in the sky, people falling from it. The world is full of mysteries. Not really. Oh, that's all I have. Oh, maybe we should save. Boop, 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 boop. So far, I'm liking it. A little slow, but most Pokemon games are in the beginning. Just have food hanging up there. With, with your shoes. What the fuck? The jug used to store drinking water. It has a lid on top to keep debris from falling in it. Oh. So it looks like you've stored lots and lots of items in it. Just a very solid construct where extra sets of clothing can be kept. What's that? Check in survey test. Survey test contains all sorts of. Oh. Tutorials. Oh, I already know. Red nose is a G. Bedtime. Yes. Uh oh. Bidoof! God damn! One of those Pokemon got electrocuted the next day. Why do we just have tomatoes and garlic that's hanging up with our shoes? Good morning, Ghost. Are you up? Quite some lightning last night, wasn't it? Today's the day of your trial, so uh, let's give it out. Uh, let's give it out all. La 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 la. We just sleep with our shoes on. That's just what we do. 
What a lovely weather we've got. I hope you had a nice sleep, even if it, this land is strange and new to you. Let's get to headquarters. Captain Selene is waiting for you. Let's go. Why is she sweeping outside? Man, what are you sweeping? What are you sweeping? Uh, I'm a freeloader, but you're sweeping the ground, bitch. <laughs> I couldn't wear those sandals, I'd break my ankle. The Fury Corp offices are here on the first floor. Don't give up, keep those eyes open. The wild park men, they, they are everywhere, attacking from all sides. That's not my partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corps will put you to the uh, to rights. That ends with the security uh, corpse. Even with his own partner, he took a beating from wild Pokemon. Without a partner Pokemon of your own, you might find this trial particularly trying. Oh, she has an Abra? That's cool. Captain Celine Ghost is here. You may enter. Let's get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable being, by going out to the Obsidian Field lands and catching three different species of Pokemon. The dude Starling and Shanks. Shanks is so cute. I love him. Catching three Pokemon from the start? No one in the Galaxy Team has ever managed that. Did the stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial would, should be simple enough for him. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. The Galaxy Team does not have what... The, have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our Servant Corp satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. Well, thank you. It's a fanny pack! The satchel doesn't actually match your uh, mode of dress. Akiri, I expect you to step in if anything goes aware. Yeah. Okay. Parting ghost, come with me for a moment. We're probably gonna get up, Pokemon. I'd like good morning to everyone. Is there something the matter, Professor Leventon? In order to complete a Pokedex, well, simply survive its unforgiving land. Ghost absolutely must pass this trial. Now, Professor of Pokemon, I just got the ticket to help to accomplish that. <laughs> Bitches. I want Cyndaquil. Cyndaquil is mine. Cyndaquil, I don't care. Well, my boy, which Pokemon would you like to keep your very own? I want Cyndaquil. Give me Cyndaquil. This one. It's warm. Do you want Cyndaquil as your first partner? Yes. Yeah, what are your little cute butt over here? Man. Guys, what do we want to name him? Cyndaquil. Do we get to name him? In my word of advice, my boy, pay close attention to which Pokemon are empty and which ones contain Pokemon are out in the field. Watch. <laughs> The look at to exchange their aunt, their friend on Cyndaquil, or perhaps the judge that it gets the help with your trial. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Ghost fell out the sky, after all. But not to worry, you two. I have you assist me with my research from now. By the by, what species has Captain Cyndaquil charged you with catching? Well, that's imagining all three of the species can be found in Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. Tony, you gave me 50 before. Oh, come on, listen. I'm tired of all the talking. Come on. We're getting antsy. Where 
has a field. Oh, hey. I love these Cyndaquil. How do you come back to me? Do do. I know you can catch Eevee right at the on the first mission. We're gonna do that. I want an Eevee. Oh, what a curious getup you have there. Oh, Rita, you're quite the character. I'm a boy, but I wear dresses, and that's okay. I'll follow the Gringo Guild. Gringo. Green coat. The go to choice for any of your mercantile knees here in Hisui. Never you talk about you. Fell up in the sky, didn't you? Now, the certain way I tell, I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've been Pokemon. It's only full of interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant success, so what do you say? How about you and, and I see a Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Fuck yeah. <laughs> you feel like you better and better, what is the light? I hope I heard about this trial you attend. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon reaches HP, uh, HP reaches zero. Okay, why that get so serious? Tokopi! I want the Tokopi. I get fucked. Oh, you can't do the. What could be? Oh, hey, it was a critical. Get, get fucked up. Move items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. Hey, ooh, a new move. It's always good fun to have Pokemon do battle, don't you think? As they get experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Okay. Okay. But only three people have their own Pokemon. If only more knew how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help our two battles recover. Uh, two. Recover. English. And for you, my sky fallen friend, I've been sent some potions and thanks. Well, thank you. Uh, topical medicine meant to apply to a Pokemon that can be used to restore 60 health to a single Pokemon. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever they might be worn out from battle. I hope you're. I will be hoping that you're successful in the trial of yours. More Galaxy team members mean more customers for your truly, after all. Stay ya! Nerd. This way is something. Not only can you catch Pokemon, you can lead them in battle. Now to Obsidian Fieldlands. Oh, now you're excited about me, bitch. When you leave in Jubilee Life Village, make sure you choose a destination from your map and tell the rest of the guardsmen where you're going. That way someone can come to your aid if you're knocked out by a Pokemon. Your shopping is just a short way past the front gate. Ghost Scrape, I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. Obsidian field lands. Yeah, it's right over there that the EV is. I just saw a TikTok about it. This is our base camp, the last safe haven before you reach the wilds. For your trial, you must catch three species of Pokemon, Bidoop, Starly, and Shinx. Are you ready to get started? Oh, Professor, is something wrong? Well, you see, Captain Celine got a hold of me after you left. She is impressed, uh, impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for what happens to our sudden guests. That's an unsparing captain, but what help exactly can you offer our here, Professor? To be honest, my dear, I don't intend to lift a finger. Gus tell us are the real deal. The past was following Carlos, you see. Ah, uh, so the responsibility for him still lies in the fact with me, then. Well, sure, Gus would be fine. Let's begin the trial. Fuck yeah. No, I'm going this way. Oh, are you not gonna let me? 
I don't need y'all's help. I know what I'm doing. He's so shocked at the kind of not good graphics. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Time to get ready to catch it. I don't care about that big doof. But I. The doof is so ugly. The key is to aim carefully, not that you seem to need any need my advice. I'm sharing what I know. It tends not to run for people, so that will be easy. They're really just repeating a lot of what you'll have to say, huh? Get that ball, bitch. Yeah, that's what I thought. Are you gonna be bitching at me the entire time, ma'am? I do not care. What is this? Oh. I hate tutorials. They're so annoying. <laughs> Scares little things. They run if they're startled. Oh, and you have to hide in the grass. No shit. Not being angsty for no reason. It's this bitch with her damn bread shoes. Where'd it go? Ooh. Get in that ball, bitch. Oh, I got him right in the eyeball. <laughs> Poor fella. I got him right in the fucking eyeball. <laughs> Now my beautiful little shanks. Right, there's something I have to teach you since you're new to this. Here's the proper way to throw your partner Pokemon. As Captain City told us, have an item at the ready, but you want to send out a Pokemon plus X. Have a Pokemon at the ready, but we want to throw an item plus X. The comes with real X for arm things. But try throwing your Pokeball at rocks or trees like this one to have investigate. If your Pokemon finds any berries or other items, they'll bring them to you. Now it's time for your partner to shine. We'll reach your final herder, hurdle, catching a shanks. Get up in that tree, bitch. Thank you. Foreign berries. Okay, so can I... Fuck that rock up. Okay, you're useless, Bidoof. There, that's Shinx. Why was it so dramatic? Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Could you already tell that? Or less. I thought you, you might. I can, t I can never tell until I focus on a Pokemon carefully. Once the aggressive Pokemon get irate, they'll knock aside any ball that you throw at them. Just focus on the Pokemon to see how easy it can be catched. The more easy you see pointing above the Pokemon, the easier it will be catched. Pokemon if it's picked to fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displays this cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. Okay, don't worry though. I'll teach you the trick to casting aggressive Pokemon. You gotta battle them. Then once they're, uh, they're reserved for battling, you can throw a Pokemon at them trying to catch them. But now you've got several Pokemon on your own, don't you? Take one of the Pokeballs and throw it near Y Pokemon if you want to battle. I got no doubt they hold your own in battle. Okay, it's you to start. Okay, so I didn't want to use Bidoof. I hope he didn't. Oh, get fucked up, Bidoof. Him yeah, bing him right in the fat head. <laughs> you got a shanks. Yeah, but she's fucking without a head of fear. Cut each foot. 
<laughs> but do you, do you that? I think the Cross will have a ch little chance of coming a complete book about Spy. We've been ordered. This is wonderful. We still get some why on Earth you came falling from the sky like you did. But for now, let's tell the professor we're ready to head back. No, I want to go exploring. I said you passed the trial with flying. I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, ghosts. You're taking the first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. I'm so awkward. <laughs> with skills like yours, I suppose this will be a foregone conclusion. Now then, we'll be at the best report to Captain Celine. Time to head back to Jubilee Life Village, huh? I pronounce any of this wrong. Yell at me in the comments, I don't care. <laughs> in time, you're ready to send Pokemon you've caught to live in the village pastures. You bring up to six Pokemon with you into the field, in theory, though we've never had anyone skilled enough to do so. Uh, come now, you two. Let's not dilly dally. Captain Selene will waste our report at headquarters. I bet Sil uh, Captain Sydney would be very pleased. Or she just decks me right in my big head. Uh, they're from... Your bitch. Fresh outlook lets you change your fortunes. Do do do. Oh, I completely passed it. But, with that... I think we're gonna end the episode. I think we're gonna end the episode here. Do we become part of the Galaxy Core? You have to see in the next video. So make sure you like and subscribe so you can get notified when that video's out and you can watch it. Oh, hey, that Shinx did drop a berry. A cherry berry. Look at that. Ending on a good note. Y'all have a great day, okay?